Alright, so after talking about the Old Man Leatherface video, I was kind of thinking, like, what other movies could you do with horror characters that could count as soft reboots, really? Like, what could really count as soft reboot films? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, so let's get into it. Starting off with uh, whenever we get... Uh, whenever we get this film off the ground after legal issues because i guarantee you once it's a finally fixed once the uh the court uh, the court battles finally come to an end there's going to be a movie i guarantee you whoever falls with the rights they're going to immediately go boom let's get a movie off the ground uh hopefully we can get the people behind the never hike alone and never hike in the snow uh people behind that actual film, because you want to talk about good Jason films, there you go. Anyway, so obviously, yes, let's talk about uh, Friday the 13th, like, where could we go with Friday the 13th? Uh, um, what was I, yeah, Friday the 13th, it would be, uh, where could you put this? That's the big question. Honestly, it wouldn't be that hard, even if you were to do like a sequel to the reboot or something of that nature, you could honestly put it wherever, and I think it would work. Honestly, though, with the whole thing of uh, doing, re doing a new movie that ignores the continuity has been a new trend, especially in horror, like I said in the Old Man Leatherface video, um, the big question is like, where do you, like, where would you put this that would count as a soft reboot? You can't really do a soft reboot of Friday the 13th right off, you know, the first Friday the 13th and just reintroduce Jason again. You can't really do that because people are here to see Jason, not Jason's redone origins. So, I think the best place to put this, if you, like, let's put this in hypothetical terms of where could you put this, um... I would say this new reboot and this new continuity that shifts away from the other ones and we ignore all the other movies would be post uh, Friday the 13th Part 4. This would be after the, the quote-unquote final chapter. And in this film, it would be basically that Jason is more like a rumor. He's more like a like a boogeyman. He's like he's like the can like yeah like the old like all the people saying like oh uh, like would gather around the campfire and be like oh Jason's out there and he's watching and waiting for the next kill. Like he's become that. But uh, what basically happened after the events of part after the events of part four, the government kind of stepped in and said mm, no more. Like, when I say government, I mean, like, the state government of New Jersey was like, no more. <laughs> so what they did was buy the land and make it into, like, a national preserve. Um, and more or less, like, bury the fact that, yeah, that happened. But, yeah, there's actual, there would be actual, like, news and stuff of that, of basically, yeah. Everything that happened from Mrs. Voorhees killing all those camp, camp counselors to Jason's rampage from two to four... Yeah, from parts two through four, the other three movies, that all happened. But everyone assumed that Tommy Jarvis did kill Jason. Like that would, like everyone assumed that yeah, Jason Voorhees died after he, like the machete went through his face. His but yeah, they found his body, they recovered it. But it's always been kind of like he's out there. Like the body was destroyed. Like it wasn't buried. It was just destroyed. So now like people said, Oh, maybe Jason got up and left or something. But I would delve more into like the whole, um, like a new spin on, uh, on what keeps bringing Jason back, like they originally wanted to with a new Friday the 13th movie was talk about like, what is the supernatural force bringing Jason back? So, in this, like, this would talk about, like, there's something strange, like, the, like, um, uh, there's this, mist there's this, just this energy, this, this dark energy that is, keeps bringing Jason back. And I would actually like it if Jason was more like a monster in the shadows. That's where, where a lot of these, uh, film, like, these film ideas are gonna go, is, like, more like, less is more. And Jason, I think, would definitely benefit the best from less is more, of making him just this fearsome, uh, this fearsome monster you don't see a lot of. But then again, you, if you know Die Hard, um, 
Friday the 13th fans, you'll be like, people will be like, I want more Jason! I want more Jason! I want him beating on, you know, ripping naked chicks in half, and a guy, like, ripping his dick off and shoving it down his throat, then ripping the jaw open and slamming it through his head. Good God, what is wrong with me? Um, <laughs> uh, woof, that got dark. That got exp that got really dark. Anyway, um, <laughs> Anyway, so, but I would have it, like I said, Jason, they would, we more like explore, like, what is, what is Jason become now? Like, kind of sprinkle in, like, ignoring new be the, the new beginning and kind of going right into, like, Jason lives. Would I have Tommy Jarvis in here again? Yeah. I mean, if you bring back Laurie Stroh, if you can bring Nancy Lou, if you can bring back, um, if you can bring back Laurie Strode and use Jamie Lee Curtis, you can get the guy. He's doing fan films right now. He's doing Friday the 13th fan films right now. I don't think it'd be that hard to get the actor who played Tommy Jarvis, who I'm forgetting the name of, sadly. Um, anyway, so yeah, totally. You could totally do that. Bring him, bring Tommy Jarvis back and, you know, ignore all the other parts and just be like, yeah, it never, like, he killed my, you know, he killed my mom and my sister had to raise me, and I've just been dealing with that trauma, and uh, Tommy's been trying to do well for himself, but now he's like, yeah, when I, he's, he keep, like, he's kind of seen, like, the new, cra like, the new crazy guy, but not, like, crazy in the sense, like, you're all doomed, you're all dead, you're all doomed. It's more like, don't go around that camp, and he's like, it's like hunting Bigfoot for him. People, like, raz on Tommy, like, <laughs> hey Tommy, you see Jason today? <laughs> so it's, it'd be kind of like that. But anyway, we've kind of spent a lot of time on this, so let's move on to Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, how I think this is going to go, and this is how I pitch is obviously what they're going to do is make it like the true sequel to Nightmare on Elm Street, where Nightmare on Elm, where all the other films, in, it, like including the good one, the good sequel, the one good sequel, uh, Dream Wars would be cut out, and. It would just be like the true continuity, the true sequel to it. But how I would do this is um, I would basically have it be a story centered around like an investigator in, in, like dealing with cold cases. I would have it that he's put on this cold case um, that the murders did happen in the original movie, but it was all a tr but the official report the official report was Tina's girlfriend killed everyone. Include, he was like a serial killer, and um, he murdered, like they even attribute uh, his mur his mo uh, Nancy's mother's murder to him. But, then, but as he delves into it, he's like, he's digging around like something was never right. Like, they always said Glenn, not Glenn, uh, Tina's boyfriend, I'm forgetting his name, but yeah, Tina's boyfriend killed himself, and how was he able to do the other two murders? If that was true, how was he able to do... There were two more murders after his apparent suicide, so how could he be, you know, linked to that? The uh, dates don't add up. So, this would basically be, like, him, this detective going into, um... Going into, uh... Uh, sorry, just got a text, um... Sorry. Anyway, but he, it would be him going into Elm Street and investigating this cold case and trying to piece it together. This is where I think the more monster in the shadow element would play better, especially for fans, because I would have it that this is more. This would be more psychological thriller, a lot like what Res, Wes Craven originally wanted to do more with it. Would I have Robert England come back? Yeah, he's even said I'm good for one more, and I think he would be really down with a less is more kind of scenario, you know, bringing back that more sinister Freddy, um, yeah, and have, like, just this detective, like, wondering, you know, what's real, what's not, and it'd be kind of like a horror version of Inception. That's how I'd play this, is a, like, a horror film of Inception, which, when you think of, you could make the argument Inception was a horror movie, but yeah, so this detective would be, like, on the frayed ends of sanity, just trying to deal with, you know, this being coming after him in his dreams and he's trying to figure it all out. Nancy would definitely come back. That's the other thing, is that he would be looking for Nancy as well, for Nancy Tompkins. And, of course, you bring back Heather Langenkamp, because uh, they totally would. Um, 
I think I would. I don't know. Uh, the studio would want her to be like in a bigger role and probably be the main character. But I would, if I could do this movie hypothetically, I would have her more in a supporting role than anything else, um, and then maybe have Freddy cr uh, kill her. Um, and it's built like a suicide, or even like the detective, uh, like it's built up like it murdered, like he murdered her, and even though he didn't, he's questioning, like, did I, did I do that? D d what's wrong with me? So yeah, um, so there you go. So there you go. There's another one for Freddy. Uh, there's one for Freddy, and I think I'm gonna wrap this up with uh, one more, and um, the one I am going to do is uh, a little more off the beaten path is that um, I'm going to be doing a pumpkin head. So here's my idea for a pumpkin head movie. Again, ignoring all the sequels, this is going to be considered the true sequel to pumpkin head. So in this con uh, so in this story, um, I would have it that pumpkin head has been gone uh, has been, well not gone, but more like he's been used and he's been he's kept being used um, over the years. But as the years have rolled on, you know, there's been expansion into the Ozarks. There's been, you know, people out there, you know, expanding, using in the internet and whatnot. And I would have it that this is a person coming home to West Virginia after um, a family member is killed. Like, it's considered, like, at first it was like an accident, but then he realizes, no, it was some someone murdered him, and the cops won't do anything. Like, he's on the take. Like, it, I would have this be a... Um, African American uh, gentleman who finds out a member of his family was killed by white supremacists in the Ozarks. He grew up in the Ozarks. It wasn't good, you know, being black in the Ozarks. It was it was tough, but he discovers that, yeah, a family member was killed for just being a different color, and he uh, start and the cops won't do anything. Like they're like Shh, whatever. He should have known where not to go. So. Um, He's like, what do I do? So he finds his way to the old, to the, uh, a new witch, because, yeah, the, uh, uh, the old witch is gone, but now her granddaughter is now running the show. He's not like, yeah, you want vengeance? I will give you vengeance. So this would focus more on this guy's story of revenge is like this poison and he is using the a pumpkin head. It's told like this isn't like from his victim's perspective. This is a this would be a straight up revenge movie. This would be a fucking revenge. I am here to kill all of you assholes kind of story with pumpkin head. That's what I would do is just make it like a horror action movie, and it's just straight up of a revenge story, like something in the vein of like I spit on your grave or um, you know something like those movies. I would even have, like, I would, be, the other idea was, again, like, instead of a, like, it would be a woman who was brutally raped and near murdered, the witch finds her and says, hey, I healed you, but, and you can just go, you can just leave, but something tells me you want a bit more, you know, to do. So, do you want revenge? And she'd be like, yeah, I want revenge. Goes, it sends Pumpkinhead to go carry out his, their work. There you go. Two different movies for that one, for Pumpkinhead. Um, would I have at Lance Henriksen come back as Ed Harley? Yeah. I mean, they brought him back in the sequels, um, but here's the thing. He'd be more like a spirit who is, like, attached to, um, Pumpkinhead. So whenever he's a resurrected, um, he's used as, like, a, you can stop this. Like, he's used as, like, uh, like a demented Jiminy Cricket for... Uh, for the new host for Pumpkinhead, like the new summoner for Pumpkinhead. Like, he's just like, you know, he sits around like doing, you can still walk away. Like, here's what I didn't learn, is that, yeah, you sold your soul, but you can still redeem yourself if you just walk away. If you just don't, if you just break the connection between you and Pumpkinhead, your soul will be saved. If you can do that, then you're fine. But I would have it like, no, no, these assholes deserve to die. All right. <laughs> So there you go, I know, like, you, you'd be thinking, oh, is it Scream? Is it going to be Chucky? Is it going to be, you know, who else could you do a re you know, Candyman? Candyman, all those characters are getting ones. These were the three I was like, yeah. Even the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers is getting a new trilogy. I didn't get to talk about that. Yeah, Jeepers Creepers getting a new trilogy. Thought I'd mention that. Um, good, re uh, good riddance, because Victor Salva is a total fucking monster. Fuck that guy. Um, 
So yeah, be nice to have a new trilogy, after, and especially after, not only because of what Victor Salva is, but also because Jeeper Creepers 3 was a total letdown. Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of these ideas, and what horror characters would you want to bring back and do like a new story around? And it's, even if it's like Freddy, Jason, whoever, um, who do you, who would you like to see get like new stories? And like new retellings and whatnot, not like reboots, but more like like what Halloween and what Candyman and what these other new horror characters are doing. Of like, n we're just disregarding the other sequels and making it the true sequel. So there you go. Anyway, so once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.